Students in the Walden DBA program must successfully conduct a doctoral study capstone project that hinges upon addressing a significant and business focused problem. This brief tutorial will cover the doctoral study problem statement, the heart of the doctoral study. The purpose of the problem statement will be discussed followed by common problems identified in problem statements. The tutorial will then present the Walden model for writing a scholarly DBA problem statement. The model consists of the hook, which is a while statement, anchor, a number that demonstrates the problem, and general and specific business problems. An example of a qualitative and quantitative problem statement will then be discussed. The tutorial will transition to the presentation of a helpful checklist to use when preparing a problem statement. Finally, a concise summary of the tutorial content will be presented. The problem statement is a component within the introductory section of the doctoral study. The problem statement is a paragraph containing no more than 200 words which depicts the problem or issue that leads to the need for the study. The importance of the problem statement cannot be overemphasized as it defines the need for the study. You do not have justification for research without a well-defined problem statement. DBA students are seeking a degree in business and must ensure the problem statement is a business-focused problem statement. It must not represent a problem that has a social, psychological, educational, or other dis discipline-specific emphasis. A business problem is something that is a problem for a business from the perspective of the business managers or the industry's leaders. Therefore, it is important to adopt a management perspective, to stop thinking as employees customers or social advocates. The perspective must be from the position of the managers and leaders of business. Unfortunately, too many students do not clearly identify the research problem, leaving the chair, committee member, methodologist, and URR to decide the importance of the issue. This can lead to many delays in the research process as reviewers at each stage must converse with each other in an effort to understand the importance of the study. Furthermore, the problem statement is often confused with the research question, those questions the student would like answered in order to better understand the problem. To this complexity is added the need for the problem statement to carry the weight of encouraging the reader to read further and to clearly see the significance of the study. When this is not clear, it is difficult to understand the significance of the research. The problem statement containing more than 200 words characterizes another problem. The problem statement is to be concise and less than 200 words. Watch the rubric for guidance. The word limit is clearly articulated in the doctoral study rubric. Another problem exists when the problem statement is not data-driven. That is, it does not contain citations. Perhaps the most significant problem found in problem statements is the lack of a business focus. The doctoral study must address a business-focused issue. It cannot be approved without achieving this important aim. However, there is a model for writing a good scholarly business focused problem statement, one that will be void of the aforementioned problems. The Walden model for a business problem statement comprises four essential elements. The hook, which is a while wow statement, the anchor, a number, the general business problem and the specific business problem. Together, 
These four elements, when well crafted, formulate the foundation of a well-informed and scholarly doctoral business study. The importance of the clarity and specificity of the problem statement must not be taken lightly. More important, these four elements cannot be crafted without conducting a thorough review of the extant literature on the topic of inquiry. That is to say, they cannot be developed without thorough background knowledge of the topic. As such, embracing oneself in the literature is the single most important influential factor in developing a scholarly business problem statement. Thus, the moral of the story is to read, read, read. Let's th discuss these four elements in a bit more detail. Let's begin with the hook. The hook must entice the reader to read further. Think of this as the opening sentence of a book you are trying to sell. Ask yourself, will the reader want to read further after reading the first sentence of the book? Does the opening sentence stimulate or wow the reader? More important, the hook must be supported by a peer-reviewed citation. This peer-reviewed citation must be within four years to ensure the problem being studied remains a problem today and comes from a business-related journal or source. The hook should not come from a psychology, education, public policy, counseling, or other non-specific business journal or source. Let's take a look at the example hook statement. Don't you think a business owner in the U.S. would be enticed and stimulated by this statement to read further, especially in the wake of the high unemployment rates during the past several years? It stands to reason a business owner would want to further understand the implications of high unemployment rates and their profitability. Or perhaps an entrepreneur contemplating starting a small business might be enticed to read further. This single hook statement suggests to the business owner or entrepreneur that they might want to read further as there might be invaluable insight gained by reading. This study might provide make or break information. The Anchor defined by Webster Dictionary, is an action that fastens, secures, or attaches. As it applies to the doctoral study, the anchor must include a number to secure the importance of the issue being studied. Providing a quantitative value, such as a statistic, dollar value, index, ratio, etc., to the anchor statement is crucial in achieving this aim. In other words, the anchor magnifies or elucidates the problem. Notice the magnitude of the difference in the unemployment benefit period identified by numbers is clearly depicted in the anchor statement. Please take a moment to read the general business problem presented on the slide. This example depicts the general business problem component of the problem statement. Notice the phrase general business problem is contained in the statement. The word business owners also helps secure this statement as being an appropriate business focused statement. In addition, profitability is also indicative of a business owner issue or concern. Always seek to foreshadow the general business problem with words that align with a business focused study. Please take a moment to review the specific business problem presented. This example depicts the specific business problem component of the problem statement. Notice the phrase specific business problem is contained in the statement. In addition, profitability 
is also indicative of a business owner issue or concern. The specific business problem is also narrower in scope than the general business problem. Always seek to foreshadow the specific business problem with words that align with a business focused study. Please take a moment to read the complete business problem statement presented. This example depicts the complete business problem statement where the four components of the model, the hook, the anchor, general business problem, and specific business problems have been merged together pr to present a well-articulated problem statement. Notice the problem statement is a concise paragraph consisting of no more than 200 words. There is no superfluous information such as data collection techniques, sample size, research questions, etc. Only the four critical components identified in the doctoral study rubric are included. Seek to provide a concise problem statement and ensure it maps to the rubric requirements. That's all that is required. The four components of the hook, anchor, general, and specific business problem. Please take a moment to read the example business problem statement presented. This slide depicts an example of a qualitative doctoral study business statement. Please examine this content for alignment with the four components of the model. Again, you can see it is concise, contains less than 200 words, it includes citations and numbers, and the general and specific business problems are clearly articulated. That's it. No more is needed. Again, the key is to map to the rubric requirements. Please take a moment to review the problem statement depicted in this example. This slide depicts an example of a quantitative doctoral study problem statement. Again, please examine its content for alignment with the four components of the model. Again, you can see it is concise, contains less than 200 words, and includes citations and numbers, and the general and specific business problems are clearly articulated. Again, that's it. No more is needed or required. A problem statement checklist is presented here. Again, this is a general checklist that may be very helpful to you. However, if you map to the doctoral study rubric, you should be fine. Some general criteria are that it should be no more than 200 words and must be a business focused topic. It must contain a hook that's enticing and stimulating with current citations. It must contain an anchor with current citations and that anchor must include a number and it must contain a general and specific business problem. Again, the key is to map to the rubric, ensure this document is no more than 200 words and it is a business focused topic. The DBA methodologist team hopes that this video tutorial has been very beneficial to you. In this tutorial, we have identified the problem statement. We have talked about problems associated with problem statement submissions. We presented a DBA model consisting of the hook, anchor, general and specific business problem, the four components required in your problem statement. We also provided examples of a quantitative and qualitative business problem statement 
and we conclude it with a checklist that you can use to ensure that your problem statement meets the Walden requirements. Again, the DBA Methodologist team hopes that this tutorial has been very beneficial and we wish you much success as you proceed in completing your doctoral study. Thank you and have a great day.